Greater Good Radio. Connect, learn, heal, and grow. We went for one year. We left in July. We went east direction, and we went to Europe. And we spent basically six months there. Then came home for Christmas break for a couple weeks. And then we went west to Polynesia and Asia. So it's been six months there and came back. So where in Asia and where in Europe? Where did you go? We started off in England. We lived on a sheep farm in England for about a month and with a family and did some farm chores, which was pretty cool. We kind of interspersed like long stays with some short stays that just to be cool experiences. After England, we went to Ireland. We spent a week driving a horse caravan on our own through the mountains of Ireland, which is super unique, awesome experience I recommend to anybody. Like you literally, you know, like the wagons that the settlers brought west. You literally show up at the horse farm. They give you one hour tutorial how to like put the wagon onto the horse and they give you a map and they say, okay, here's your five stopping points over the next seven days. The horse knows where to go. Go. You are holding the reins and the horse is driving you through the mountains to these different fields. So, so you just got to trust the horse. You have a map. So you can kind of you can kind of steer it, but the horses have done it so many times that mm-hmm. it that they know kind of know where to go. So if you're steering it wrong, the horse will pull you in the right direction. Yeah, I think so. Mm-hmm. But but super cool. You live in a wagon, and then it, when you stop in the field, there's like a prearranged place for you to shower, like the person's house or the pub has a shower or whatever that field belongs to. And then there's a pasture, so you disconnect the horse, let it go to pasture. And then you basically set up camp next to your wagon and you sleep in the wagon, but you make bonfire and there's probably like four other wagons that are traveling with you. And so it's pretty cool. It's pretty fun every night. Campfire, eating, you know, pork and beans out of a can. So it's kind of roughing it then. Oh, total roughing it. Yeah. There's no stores or supermarkets along the way. You have to go shopping before you get there and and fill your wagon up, you know. Did your kids like it? Oh yeah. It was so awesome. And then we did that and my daughter loved horses. So I tried to do an experience for each kid that was specific to them. So we did horses. That was our horse big trip, I guess. So then after Ireland, I think we went France first, stayed for three weeks in the Provence area. A lot of English people on vacation in the summer over there. And then we went to, my friend has a house in Luca, Italy. So we spent three weeks at his house, almost four weeks there. And he has an olive kind of farm I guess as part of his thing so we stayed on his farm over there and then after that we went to Spain we stayed there for two months in Spain and we put the kid in there I had a friend who I met through basketball he was a basketball coach and he is PE teacher at a small private school and so he offered to have and this is prior to us going he's like oh have, have the kids come and jump into school so the kids actually went to school in Spain and I helped him coach basketball there and Aiden was on a basketball team and my son. And so that was a super cool experience. And the kids would come home every day from school and I'd be like, what'd you guys learn in school? And they're like, I don't know, dad, the guy's speaking Spanish. I was like, oh, so you learned Spanish then? It's like, yeah, I guess. So we did two months there. We would have stayed longer. Our visa ran out for Europe by that point in time. So then we visited a friend in Toronto for a week or so and then came back home. If you resonate with Greater Good Radio, please join our community at www.greatergoodradio.com where you can get access to exclusive content and offerings. Hope to see you soon.